everyone, welcome back to another episode of our Franchise Zoo. My name is Savannah, if you're new here, thanks for stopping by today. The, our Franchise Zoo is one that we have been going on for just a little bit now, and we have a few different exhibits. We have our flamingos over here, a couple tortoises, and then what we added last time were the otters. And when we added the otters, I said that it wasn't going to be a long time before we played again, um, but I didn't take into account uh, life for one, but to uh, the contest that we had going on and things like that. Um, so it has taken me just a little bit to hop back in, but I wanted to start off today by just kind of checking on everybody in the zoo that we have so far to make sure everybody is happy. So yeah, these guys still don't have their hard shelter, but that's okay. Their uh, welfare is still pretty high. Let's check on the adults here. And it looks like we have four little baby, uh, which ones are these? Uh, Galapagos tortoises. And then we have a couple babies in here. Yeah, one, two. You don't look... I mean, I know you're sleeping, but you definitely look like you're dead. Anyway, you're not, so that is, that's good. Let's check on parents here. Yeah, hard shelter still not satisfied, but your welfare is still good. Today, what I really, really want to do is I really want to tie up some loose ends. Um, I've kind of been moving through and adding a new animal to every, uh, every episode. Can I click on you, please? Thank you. So your welfare is not the grace, greatest, but I did read in the comments that they need some uh, water plants. So we'll try to add those today. But anyway, I wanted to do a major um, like tie up loose ends, kind of get our entrance looking more like an entrance, finish off some of these uh, exhibits and make it looking like a real uh, a real actual zoo. Um, and that way we don't have kind of this spread out, uh, you know, a half finished projects all over the place. So let's go ahead and take care of a couple things. Uh, what does this say? Facility inaccessible. Why? I don't know why this would be water obstructs the food throw. Oh, uh, well, I don't really want you to throw food, but should we put you... Oh, this whole thing is water. So should we put you over here where you don't have land and that way you won't whine about it, I guess? Let's put you, yeah, put you over there, I guess. I like you better off the path. There we go. Water obstructs food throw. Does that just mean that if it is an animal that they can throw food for, they kind of have to? I don't know if I like that or not. Cause what if I just want them to talk about it? This, like I said, this whole enclosure is, uh, is water. So do I have to move you? Should we just put you over here for now? You can talk about tortoises. Here you go, are you happy? No habitat to throw food into. Confusing. How about there? Food throw path is blocked. Habitat does not contain... This is rather annoying. Should you go here? Hmm. Okay, you know what? Goodbye. I don't feel like messing with you right now. Uh, let's see. Are we still not able to say hi to people? Yeah, still not able to say hi. Oh, Zoofluencer's in the zoo. Hello, thanks for stopping by. I can't really say hi to you because it's broken, but hello. <laughs> uh, let's see, challenges. We don't have anything there, perfect. So yeah, so today I want to start, um, start with our entrance here. So I brought in this last time that I had made off camera. And I really wanna get this all kind of uh, uh, situated and built up and pretty. So in fact, we have a ton of money. Um, everybody is happy here. I don't have any alerts and it's bright and sunny. So what I think I'll do is actually uh, first and foremost, jump into the time-lapse. So let's get started.
we got a lot uh, done on one area. <laughs> so my plans of being super productive and, and hitting a little bit of all of the enclosures did not really come to fruition, but I am a lot happier with the entrance of the zoo. And as I was doing the entrance, I realized that I still don't have a name for this zoo. So by next episode, promise this zoo will finally have a name and any help down below is greatly appreciated. Let me know uh, what your suggestions are. Uh, hopefully it will be something small that can kind of fit right here next to zoo um, or we might have to get a little bit a uh, little bit creative with the name but uh, this is how the entrance is turning out here. Um, some of the things that I wanted to use for like pots are not unlocked yet so actually let me hit play and let's double Double check on our uh, research here, our mechanic research. So we have one uh, mechanic, Nalu. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. I'm sure that you heard. I have all three of my dogs in here with me, um, and they uh, are sleeping. But Nalu tends to kind of growl in her sleep. So if you hear that, uh, please excuse her. Um, so we have somebody working on the aquatic theme right now, and then some of the pieces that I need are actually in the Australia or not Australian, the African pack. So I think I'm going to get them started on that. Let's check our vet research. We have somebody on otters and we are good on these so how about we go ahead and start on another over there um, and then one of the things that I realized is I want to make a flamingo um, hard shelter but I want it to be circular over the top of this foraging here um, and I don't have the mud pillar in the construction items. You might have seen me search for it. So I can't make a, uh, a, a perfectly circular structure uh, as easily without it. So we're gonna hold off on that. <gasps> Our giant otters are gonna have babies. Oh, how cute is that? They, oh, they kind of glitch into each other, but look at them snuggle. Oh, did it work? About to mate. Oh, it didn't work, okay. Um, so while I'm thinking about it here, actually, let's go ahead and just throw down a few, where am I going to, nature. Let's go ahead and throw down a few plants for, let's spell otter correctly few plants for the otters. Oh, we don't even have any. Wait, am I searching this right? No, I'm not searching this right. That's why. Guys, it's been so long since I've actually played played the game. Normally, I just build. Look at me. Doing it wrong. So, we have grassland, tropical, grassland, tropical, and aquatic. There we go. And then, oh, South and Central uh, America. Let's see, South Central America, perfect. Okay, so now we have some of the plants that they might want. Let's see, are any of the, yeah, here are some grass ones here. So we'll just kind of throw this in. Woo, let's not go into the ground here. Um, throw these in and see if this doesn't make a difference on um, their happiness of their enclosure because that's what some of the comments were saying before that they needed underwater plants in order to be happy. And I actually really like these underwater plants. They look really good as like normal um, grass too. Uh oh, now it's dark. Let's see if that makes any sort of a difference. I know we didn't add too many, but does that do anything for them? Let's see, where were their plants? Oh, okay, yeah, see, okay, plants is 100%. Maybe it was a glitch because adding that much couldn't have made a difference um, that bad, but their welfare is good. They're at 68%. We have three little otters in there and then hopefully sometime soon we will have baby otters. And then I am also waiting for the backdrop from the new aquatic pack to be released. So hopefully putting that there. Ooh, mechanic research. What is it? Aquatic pack stuff. Yay. Okay, they're going to continue to search for that. But what do we have that's new? Let's see. If we go here and we go to content pack and we go to aquatic pack. Let's see. Okay, so we got all the statues and stuff. That's good. Oh, here. Um, here's the backdrops. Great. So yeah, so this is what I was wanting to do 
is if we turn on um, a line to surface and get that to go there, I was kind of wanting to align this just as a backdrop for some of these areas and that way we don't have to decorate the entire thing but that any blank spots on here see how if we run this right above the rocks it just adds a little bit more um to look at and in, instead of just a plain concrete wall so add these all the way along until we get to about here i think is where we'll stop Ooh, do we have the smaller one maybe does that tree no okay thought that tree might have hit the concrete there so we'll do this and then we'll do one more just like so perfect and then we'll probably do some rock work to hide that but yeah so then that gives it if you're standing here as a guest it gives you just a little bit more um, to look at makes it look a little bit nicer I guess we should continue it over here as well um, I also need to put a door in where the keepers come through. So actually, while we have, let me see, put that there. But while we have you there, let's go to doors so that we know where to put it. Wait, don't go away. Go away, aquatic pack. Um, We don't have the best doors right now, but I guess this one will do for now. That way we at least have have it look like they have a way to get through instead of just kind of uh, <laughs> osmosis through a, a concrete wall there. <laughs> uh, yeah, perfect. Let's go ahead and put this in. Great. Awesome. Okay. You can continue on your business. Thank you for your help. And then kind of get this on here. Can I get it? I'll probably have to bring that door actually forward a little bit. Didn't think about that. Perfect, there we go. Awesome, it's coming together. We are getting some progress. I know we didn't add another animal in this episode, but I really, like I said, I really did want to, we'll kind of hide that scene with a rock. I really did want to do a little bit more work on some of the things that we already had established. Um, main thing being this main entrance here. And let's go ahead and check our overall here, our finances. So we're doing pretty good still. Um, we didn't spend too much money on the entrance, so that's nice, but we're still in the green, which is great. Let's see, got more people to say hi to. I wish this would work. Uh, let me know if I'm doing something weird, but normally I say hello and then it gives me con uh, um, conservation credits, right? Like that's normally how it works, but not working for me very much. Um, yeah, so then we have our flamingos that we need a hard shelter for. Um, the Galapagos tortoises are pretty good. I do want to do more of like a, a backdrop here and then was thinking of adding the, um, like a keeper building here. So actually, if we take a look at what is available, let's see what we have as far as walls go. I'm thinking... I don't necessarily want to make, well, I guess we could make this building, um, cause my thought was actually to make, and I know the guests don't use it this way, but to kind of loop around here and make this like the, the exit kind of area here. Um, so we could have a keeper building here. Um, but I didn't want to make it necessarily just like a plain, Ooh, what about these new pieces? Yeah, I like these ones. So if we kind of situate it here, maybe, where we have a building right off the tortoise enclosure, it can kind of intersect with it too. I'm actually okay with that. Um, I don't really want to make it a perfect square. Let's add just a little bit of variety to it. And then if we take this and kind of adjust it just a little bit, like so. So yeah, so it's it's kind of part of the enclosure. Perfect. Let's change the color because I really don't like that orange color. Let's see, maybe a 
maybe a darker color, more gray. How does that look? So then that would be, that's kind of like the backstage area. And then we can do, um, we can do some like tall fencing, not out of bamboo, but you know how they do like this kind of a thing. Um, like that so that cast members like kind of go through and it it hides uh the back structure so we can do that kind of thing so that way it's kind of hidden um but for now let's go ahead and take uh this barrier and let's turn this into actually we might as well just move it out of the way because what i want to do is put staff facilities in here and um it may not let me if it's too close to the barrier there we go there that works so then if we take like let's do our quarantine here um here oh, i'm gonna need to delete the path huh the paths get in the way of everything man and i'm trying to let it play just so that we have um some opportunity to get the uh, what's it called? Um, research done while we're kind of messing with this. So let's see, there is the door for that. Um, we can probably put our vet research in here too. Let's leave the group there and add it to this one. Ooh, see, yeah, that barrier is going to be a problem back there. So if I turn this to null for just a second, excuse me, get out of the group. And I know they can escape, but let's see. Let's pause it so that they don't escape. Go away. We'll look at our research in just a second. Um, let's see. Out of here. And let's see if this... Yes. Okay. So then we have... We want to move it one over so that I have the ability to run a path. Because the idea is, is that they can get in um, from both sides. So it's kind of a like a central point. And then we can move, our trade center doesn't need to be over there. Let's see. Our trade center can be a part of this over here. We could put that there. And then let's do a staff room as well over here. Like so, perfect. So now let's fix everything up on the paths so that they can actually use them because that would be nice. Um, keep a path here. Let's make it not so giant. Perfect, perfect. And then let's see, are you going to behave? Very rarely. Oh, wow, look at that. Look at how easy that was. I thought that was gonna be a nightmare. Perfect. And it looks like I forgot we have the other color of path. Put that in there, yes. And then do this as the connector. Look at that, beautiful, we did it. Let's see, awesome. That worked out really easily. I was, I was prepared for that to not be an easy thing. Okay, so let's fix all this over here because we have uh, created a mess and we need to clean up our mess. There and there and let's connect the path so that they can actually get there and they don't freak out. Is that all connected? Good, that's all connected. Now let us let's reconnect or rather fix this because this is what we don't want uh, to be open because our tortoises would escape. be a pain in the butt okay so just these ones here that one's gonna have to stay a null barrier but that is oh, oh what is the problem with this one no I don't want that are you gonna make me move it far away you are let's just do the corner of the building here and then they can have a little bit more space out like so will that work no, why? All right, cool. Well, it looks like we're doing the rock, uh, 
<laughs> barrier a little bit sooner than I had anticipated. You can see how very little patience I have for when things uh, don't work. I tend to kind of try once or twice and then give up real quick. Um, but just because I, like I said, I don't have the patience to sit here and fuss with it when, uh, when something is in the way. It could be the path, it could be the building, um, could be a whole bunch of things, but doesn't matter because we are going to do rocks instead if I could spell tropical right there we go let's get this one I'm actually really liking the combination of the uh, aquatic rocks and the um, the natural texture rocks that we have I think I mentioned that in the last one um, but I think they look really nice when they're all put together um, something about the different colors and the textures really just kind of um, I don't know I like it so kind of going with that uh, feeling there that look let's go ahead and add a little bit of variety so we don't have all the same thing here and I'm not going to detail this out too much um, just a very very quick and easy barrier so that our tortoises aren't running around um, I don't want you to line the surface anymore. Let's go ahead and put you right on the corner here. Make sure you look okay from the inside. There's that. Up a little bit more. Maybe we can add you here. Mm, there. And now if we select you all because you're all the wrong color I know I see an important update it's okay I will get there in a second I'll get there when I get there and if I don't get there I don't get there name that show um, okay there that is a good enough color Perfect. Okay, what is so important that you have something in the front of my screen? Can't find accessible staff room. I fixed that. You should be totally fine. And can't find... Oh, you guys are fine. You're just whining because you got kicked out. Go away. Now, uh, facility broken down. Of course it is. Go ahead and call a mechanic there. Vet research. What did we unlock? Oh, just the virus stuff. Oh. Um, right go away go away go away perfect let's go ahead and hit play awesome okay so yeah so that's kind of the plan for that and then i don't know what kind of decorative um thing that we'll put out here to hide it definitely some plants um let's see we can actually take one of these i think these are nice they're way tall but look at how much they kind of cover there and I actually kind of like that. I know it's it's rather large, but if you're looking at the zoo this way, it kind of blocks everything. And I want it to seem really um, kind of over, not overgrown, um, but just jungly because we are in a tropical biome. And so I kind of want it to be that kind of feeling. There we go. Well, that one's gonna get in the way of the roof. So let's spin it just a little bit more. There, that should be good. Perfect. So if we spin it like that, yeah. So then that way it's kind of uh, blocked. And then we can do maybe another tree here or another tree here, something like that. Something to give this middle area shade. I need to get some ideas for what we want to do. Oh, and I completely forgot. So I put these down to give us a little bit more um, money. Why are you hungry? Let's call a keeper over there. I need to do the work zones, but I'm going to do that off camera just because they are um, kind of tedious and that way you guys don't have to sit through it. But anyway, so I got these uh, little exhibits. So let's go ahead and see exhibit trading. Let's decide what animals we want in there. Um, let's kind of sort it by this here. Oh, the diamondback turtles. That's right. Um, or the diamondback terrapin. Okay, so we don't want the highest one. But let's go ahead and see Diamondback Terrapin. What do we have options for? So let's take a look at their Zoopedia. How many can we have? We can have one to eight. Okay, great. One to eight. So let's go ahead and get 
Does anybody have terrible, terrible genes? Uh, not really. I mean, I guess it doesn't really matter with these guys, right? So, um, I mean, as, at least as far as our, uh, um, our goal here, we're getting uh, animals with uh, low genes and then kind of breeding them. So let's go ahead and get the male here and maybe this female here. Like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, so then let's go ahead and put them in there. And let's see. I kind of want to... What would it look like if we had two Terrapins back to back? Because now what I'm worried about is like this one's water. Is it going to look weird if we have something else in there? Or should we just pick like a tropical species um, to go in there? Let's see. What if we just put this one in there and we just had two terrapins? Oh, but there's a gap in the middle. Okay, I don't like that. Let's see. Where's the animal? I need you. Send to the trade center. Go back over here. Storage, we already bought you, so we'll just kind of throw you in there. Great. So let's see, what else can we get here? Another tropical species. Um, oh, the frogs are kind of cool. I like them. How many can we have of the frogs? We can have one to five. So let's go ahead and do froggies. That kind of makes sense because these guys are, are uh, tropical as well, the red-eyed tree frogs. Um, okay, so we have all females here. Let's sort and see if we have any more. Red-eyed tree frog. I passed it. There we go. Uh, yeah, they're all females. Okay, well, we'll just get a couple then and, uh, and wait for a male, I guess. So we'll just get a pair of females and put them in there. Yeah, so what we'll need to do is we'll just put the, um, the barrier, or not the barriers, the decorations on this wall. Oh, there's not a, th oh, I guess it's kind of 3D. Okay, so that one's good. Not that one. Not that one. We want this one. There we go. Perfect. And we'll kind of block this up then so there's not a uh, gap in the middle. So let's do this. Let's do 3D facade there and 3D facade over there. Perfect. And then we need to assign all these and then we need to make sure that our animals are happy with their humidity and their temperature. Uh, because reptiles and amphibians definitely rely on their humidity and their temperature um, in order to survive and be happy and healthy. It actually plays a, a huge role in their um, consumption of their food or digestion of their food rather, whereas if, if things like the UVA or UVB, the light rays are incorrect, then um, it is really detrimental to their health. Um, oh, what is happening? Oh, it's the guys I'm working on right now. You can't give me a second. We'll pause it while we fix this. It's probably because we have it on hard, so they're freaking out because they're all uh, they're all too warm, too warm, and slightly too humid. <laughs> uh, nothing researched yet, so let's go ahead and say okay, and then go over here. You guys are too warm, and your humidity's okay. So does that work? If we hit play, you're gonna go down and be happy and stop screaming. We got something though. Let's see. Adopt exhibit ex adopt exhibit species. Goodness, I'm tripping over my words today. That's awesome. I'll claim that. Let's see. Cannot find accessible research center. Oh, is the research center not vet research complete? The research center may not be connected up to the path. We got more otter research, which is great. Uh, let's see. Oh no, it's because, I know why, 
it's because we assigned both of them and uh, I think we only have one research center. So let's stop that. That way he can stop whining. Let's see, animal welfare has attracted protesters. That should be fine now, right? Let's see, did they go away? Are we happy and healthy? Yeah, we're happy and healthy. Let's double check. Perfect. So we need to get somebody researching them actually and that way we can, let's see, stop the otters real quick and go to the terrapins and because of that, maybe we should get a second research center, no? I think that might be a good idea if we just duplicate this and get one there. That way we can, instead of just making it so they can't, um, since we did just get two new species. Um, and then let's go ahead and maybe hire another veterinarian just so we can have one that is uh, running around and not researching. Great! Awesome! All right, guys. Well, this might be where I call it. Oh, last thing before we go, and I always forget, um, is we need donation bins over here. Uh, guest facilities? Yes. We need donation bins so people can give us money for these wonderful animals. So let's put one there and let's put one here. Perfect. But we have tons of education around these guys, which is awesome. Then we have the donation bin, so people will start giving us money. I love this little terrapin. This is actually the first time that I've placed this down, so this is pretty cool to see this little semi-aquatic setup here. Are they on their little... Where are they? Where are they? Oh, there's one over there in the back. Cool. Awesome. And then we got our little froggies, of course. Our inspectors arriving in 16 months. Well, right now everything is great. So hopefully our inspection will go well. But yeah, so I think I will wrap that one up here, guys. Um, I think I might actually record the next episode back to back. So I won't have um, comments or feedback. But please do leave me anything down below. Suggestions for next time. What you think of our entrance. Um, because I'm actually fairly happy with how this is turning out. It's starting to look like a real zoo. If you come out here, um, it starts to look like an actual uh, zoo facility. So that's pretty, pretty exciting. So thank you so much for watching, guys. And I will talk at you in the next episode. Thanks. Bye.